Hunter X Hunter episode 139. その地下深くに幽閉されているアルカとの再会を果たしていた頃。In a vault, yeah. Yeah, so go Ark. So goes back. 巻き添えになるものの法則を確認するために二組。It's okay, they're just NPCs anyway. 他にはね、観光客の命と引き換えにチープなおもちゃをお願いしたのだ。Tourists, that's a great idea. They don't matter. それぞれ一瞬で死んでる。That's a lot of power. 俺の代わりにこいつ殺して。一つ目がミルキで、ミルキ。二つ目は、執事のヤスハ。Yeah, it all makes sense now. There was really only one way to deal with this, and that was bank vault. It's the only way. Glad nothing bad happened, and no victims. Aluka X and X something. We just give up at the end there. Aluka X and X title. アルカとカルトの散歩の途中だし、あ、弟です。僕の。<笑> You picked the wrong place for a vacation. Was it feces? Take the gamble. Take the gamble, Muna. Here we go. So maybe it's not limited to the loved one's thing, which would make it extra dangerous. ね、At least it was painless. <laughs> Could it be everyone you know? Odd, odd. Well, people are Agreed. Agreed. Obviously, who wouldn't? You're not experimenting with your butlers? And then we kept testing. And I see, so it's time spent. Right. And then, it could be anyone. Wait, wait, what? So, if I'm understanding, Kluo wouldn't want to let someone else bear the costs, so he will be both the person making the wish and the one granting the requests, which means Ugumi's life is in danger since they spent a lot of time together, given the scope of what he's asking. If it was only the person Kluo loved the most, Ugumi would obviously be safe, and then Gon would die. But wait a minute, if Kluo dies, Gon also dies, which defeats the whole point. So Kluo can't sacrifice himself for his wish. So he's thinking he will be able to withstand whatever it is, or be able to grant her requests. <laughs> How's her development? Oh, alright. Oh, she's okay. How did she stomach this isolation? I like her headband. Neterogabaraotskawazaro it was a total giving up on and disavowal of life. I'm making some creative leaps here, but if Nen is life and the value of life lies largely in potential, Gon sacrificing his Nen ability is a total disavowal of any meaning or significance or hope or possibility in his life. In some ways, the opposite of what resulted with Miriam. I sometimes take it for granted that people generally are capable of a positive outlook, understand that there's great potential and hope in their lives, have aspirations with themselves, what have you. But then every now and then I have a conversation where I'm reminded that some people really hold deeply nihilistic, hopeless viewpoints, which thankfully, is often just a, a moment they're having given recent circumstances or what have you. I mean, even people who express a hopeless outlook contain hope or else they just wouldn't be doing anything. If I had to attribute a common cause to a lot of these encounters, it seems like it's often a function of learned helplessness. So if one has a sequence of experiences where no matter what they do, there's a punishment or some kind of pain, they internalize that as nothing I do matters. They over extrapolate that to a point of just totally capitulating to life, even as lifelines appear around them. And I hear all sorts of excuses like effort doesn't get you anywhere, which is correct. Effort itself doesn't guarantee reward. Typically what you need is correct effort. I'm not going to solve a problem by repeatedly punching myself in the face, even though that's effort. Struggle is not necessarily a method. There's something else there that has to do with a confluence of other skills, like paying attention, listening, taking feedback, being able to shed one's ego enough to learn and to continuously iterate on one's approach. The ability 
ability to act through pain and fear. Golenstein was very cinematic and beautifully visually conceptualized, but I think part of what makes it so compelling is that it's intuitively understandable. And it's understandable as this really dark curse that's somewhat self-inflicted, that complete loss of faith and hope. And in hindsight, it seems like Gon was especially prone to that kind of thing as somebody who identified his own value and success largely to external factors and results. And something like, if I don't get my way, I'm unworthy. People who are used to getting things their way don't know how to respond to those uncontrollable losses, the shocks. They read into it much more negatively and give up much more easily. What you often find combined with that sort of mentality is this idea of chosen one, you know, like I was born special. Because what that leads to is when things go wrong, oh, I just wasn't one of the chosen ones. It's sort of this essence or spirit that defines one's character that is determined from birth. I think that applies to Merriam, right? Because actually he's born into what superficially is the perfect state. And his journey is actually undoing that somewhat and regressing to a baseline of openness from which he can find what actual success is. Going, maybe going in the reverse direction where he's kind of aiming for, for what Miriam is born as, but it's a dead end. It's a false lead. And the world is quick to hand you your ass and the things you're wrong about. And I think the key is to accept that, understand that, take shocks and keep moving. Even if there's like a million shocks, you lose when you trade that beauty you have, the potential by giving up, losing all hope, losing all faith, losing all personal pride and sense of direction. I think metaphorically, the answer for Gon, I mean, it's going to be the wish, right? But the real answer is rebuilding his value structure from the ground up. It doesn't have to be a final defeat. There are many things around him that are beautiful that he's been neglecting for the singular pursuit. So yeah, you're not gonna buy hope or science meaning. But that that's really risky for even Kalua's plan. That kills Gon, no? Right. Well, he may have spent spent more time with Illumi. You, you don't think he loves you, do you? You're not that delusional, are you? Yep. And the bloodline. What is the value of a human soul? Oh yeah, Sok is in there. Sok is in that life somewhere. He's been around, he's regretting that dodgeball game. Why did I play dodgeball with those kids? Why did I enter that game at all? This is starting off great. We're off to a really nice start. The hell just happened? Is Kalua in the Wait, what? He's hiding it. Is that a request fulfilled if she's happy? It's sort of shocking, that image. Was Kalua even talking to his father, or was that Illumi? I mean, who's going to show up three times? I wouldn't show up by the second time. I'm not even show up the first time. I've got hunter lives to live. What are you... Asking a lot here. There's not as much for them to gain as the people in the room, in this room. Other people generally are very willing to help, but you keep asking the same thing, people start to question and doubt. This again? It's like people asking you to donate to save the rainforest, and then you give money, and then they hit you up every week to save the rainforest, and it's like, damn, when is this rainforest going to be saved? How long does it take to save the rainforest? Is it just a bottomless problem with no saving it? Then why am I even bothering? Why haven't we fixed the rainforest yet? I mean, if they're not listening to the previous requests, why would they do anything? And they still have all their nen. I mean, yeah, I pointed out the first time he appeared. It's part of his game. It also puts people on their back foot. They're like, what? Yeah, this is not unexpected for Nenro. He would not be shocked by any of this. What's the angle here? Why does he want all of them gathered? Everyone must see my smiling, my smiles. I kind of like him. I mean, he's 
crooked as hell. But there's one thing I really admire about him that I think is a positive quality. And it's not the manipulation, although I respect the cleverness there as well. If you can maintain your external that robustly throughout all sorts of adversity, you're doing something right. And people will be affected by that. This actually has come up in a lot of shows. Like it feels to me when there's a confrontation, the person who loses their cool first feels like the loser of the situation, even if they're justified, even if I agree with their cause, even when I'm right, if I'm the one losing my cool, I walk away feeling unclean and like I've lost. You've crossed some line. You were perhaps focused on the wrong game. There is also something a little bit self-defeating and kind of disappointing about the realization that your emotions have been affected by others. Is it not a personal insult on some level to be angry at your enemy, no matter how terrible they are? They have some control over you, but I thought I was supposed to be above them, yet I'm the one who's emotionally compromised? That doesn't add up. This would be such a wild way for Kalu to die. Is he gaming this request system? Does that count? That is very reassuring. Seems like the condition for having met a request successfully is just her pleasure, her happiness, not necessarily the outcome. This thing. Okay. Easy enough. あるかが誰かにおねだりしている途中で別の誰かにおねだりが移ることはないだからあるかは執事に一個おねだりさせてからパパとママのところに戻すようにおれが仕組んでたあ、it oh, seems like there's a solve for this then, no? Can't you just like, alright, something terrible happens, we reset to level 1. We've been there already, accidentally. You put someone in there to receive a request, and then that person just makes themselves very scarce. Or is it like that movie, what is it? It follows where like Aluka will find you wherever you go, that's possible. Kind of like Knuckles Nan, where it gives them a radar. Or alternatively, a better solution, you just, you know, lock her in a vault. キルアもそうしてたと思う。アルカがパパとママにおねだりしなかったのはそのためだよ。ルーベン、セイビングヨアライブズ、ホールタイム。おねだりされている誰かが途中で死ぬと。あ、すげえなかった、バラエーションでリセット。最低でも。オー、オッケー。これは実験して確認済み。あまり人間が連続してあるかにお願いすることはできない。以上。There's a lot more rules in the Dragon Balls. なぜ。キルアはお願いしない。Yeah. He knows something。また何か甘いこと考えてんじゃないの。Also, you know, quality time. その尻拭いは他の誰かがやるわけだから。考えられぬ。まず友達を助けてから考えればいいことではないのか。How puts some things in a weird light. I feel like this actually might be an answer to my early queries about this. If he knew about the needles, then he's expecting Kalu to fail. That blood oath they made. I guess that maybe puts Kalu in the palm of his hand. Yeah, not, not surprising. You must have been expecting this, yeah. Oh, was a test. ハハオヨ、殺せ。わ、わい。30分以内に俺たち2人が一緒に山を降りられたら、俺の本編中止。分かったな。おお、わお、that so we're still kind of at level one or so. How much do we need mother anyway? Is what they're thinking. So we're like, no, it's all right. How much do you need your wife? I've treated you so well your entire life. Okay, sure, why not? Y'all got played. So the mixed feelings. Angry but proud. He'll make a great assassin one day. <laughs> Zoldic mom just sweating. For a minute there, her life flashed before her eyes. Oh, I gotta go to Gon. 
Luka just out there in the world now. Bringing back a life, I feel like, would have huge penalties. Not just for Gon. How many people died for that sparrow? What is the value of a sparrow's soul? <laughs> He's feeling pretty good about himself right now. Cute. <laughs> Damn, Clue the hero. Hero of my sister and maybe my family. Wow, he's multitasking in like the best and most heartwarming way possible. What a great hunter move. Leveraging the situation to do something else. Next, maybe you can save Miluki, but that's tough. Miluki needs help. Clue right now in a way, the most powerful man in the universe. Wait a minute, why didn't he not think of why did he not think of her when the Chimerians were invading? That could have possibly saved a major headache. I mean I'm glad he didn't, but well I guess it would have been a huge fallout from killing, you know, the ultimate being. Kalua just jumped way up the tier list if we're considering Aluka as part of his abilities. But he is the one holding the reins. I'm really curious to see what is the cost of restoring Gon because I think according to the themes of the show and how I understand them, it's sort of unquantifiable on how large it is. Though he may have a roundabout way to skip the fallout or have it not be equivalent.